Hey there, I'm Chris Heidelbaugh, and I teach digital marketing to DIYers. And in this WordPress tutorial video, we're talking about permalinks. Yeah, woohoo, permalinks. Okay, so maybe it's not that exciting, but it really is very important, especially if you're trying to rank your website, you know, on the search engines like, you know, Google and Bing and things like that. So if you're worried about WordPress SEO, permalinks is actually one of the first things you should actually look at before you start building pages and doing blog posts and things like that. So because it is so important, I want to make sure I educate you about it. And it starts right now. Stay tuned. Welcome back to my official YouTube channel, and thank you for watching this video. If you have not done so already, please do subscribe. I'm trying to get to 100,000 subscribers, and as you can see here, I'm at 22, so definitely working hard, and, and hopefully I can get your vote as well. Please do subscribe. And if you have website questions, so if you have other questions for your WordPress website, you need SEO help, things like that, please do join me on Saturday nights at 9 p.m. Mountain Standard Time, and I would love to answer your questions. So today's video, we're talking about permalinks. Now, what is a permalink anyways? Well, I'm going to go over to my fake website and show you right now. Okay. So here is a page for an example. Okay. This is just a fake, you know, page here, but as you see right here, the permalink says my fake website.com forward slash question mark page space ID equals two. Now, just being honest, how hard is it going to be to remember that if you're trying to tell a customer or a client or a friend or family member, whoever to visit your website, right? That's going to be extremely, extremely difficult, right? And if it's extremely difficult for you, how hard do you think it's going to be for the search engines, right? I mean, the search engines can crawl and they know what your pages are about, but if this is an about page, what do you think it'd be easier to put like myfakewebsite.com forward slash about, right? Most people can remember that when you look at it, you know, in the search engine result pages and things like that, you know, it says about, it seems pretty legit, right? If you put it on Facebook, Twitter it says about makes sense, right? Question mark page, you know, underscore ID equals two doesn't help anything. And it actually makes it extremely difficult. So that's why I stress that permalinks are a big deal. Okay. So we're going to fix that real quick and real simple. Ready? So if you're logged in, I'm going to take you back let me let me log log in here so that way you know okay we're just on the plain dashboard here nothing fancy okay all you're gonna do is go down to your settings okay so click on settings and on the left hand side here you're gonna see permalinks okay just click simply click on permalinks okay now as you notice you you need to look at your settings okay so right now I'm on plain now your WordPress installation or the theme may have overwritten this rule or whatever. So as you see exactly here, I have myfakewebsite.com forward slash question mark P equals one, two, three. That, that would be the example, right? And that's how my pages are coming up. And that's exactly what we don't want. We want to stay as far as we can from anything like this, okay? So you do have other options, like you can put, you know, a day and name, like for an example, back in the day, you know, a couple years ago, people do a blog post and they would put like, um, you know, like a October, so maybe, you know, like 10, forward slash, five, forward slash, and then a blog post. You know, they would put the dates or times or whatever like that in the uh, the URL structure, and it wasn't very good, okay? We want to keep it simple and sweet, right? The whole KISS method kind of thing. So as we notice here, now we have, uh, you know, post name, and that's what we want, okay? So if you notice here for post name, it is myfakewebsite.com forward slash sample hyphen post, and that's more what we want, okay? So we're going to click on that. And now we're going to save it. Okay, so taking this one step advance, a little bit farther, okay? Now, most people, especially like somebody like myself, I actually don't mind just having the post name. So basically, your website, and here's the blog post. Here is the page name, and, and it works just fine, okay? Some people want to put the category, and you can actually add that as well, okay? So if you see down here underneath the custom structure, we can click on that, and we can add these available tags, okay? So for an example, if we highlight, put our cursor there and then click on category, it adds the category before our post name. So now what would happen is if, if I had a blog for an example, okay, and maybe you have a blog as well, maybe let's say, just say you have a cooking blog for, you know, just for the sake of this video, it would be yourwebsite.com forward slash say breakfast forward slash, uh, you know, nine ways to make eggs in the morning kind of thing. Okay. So you would add the category and that might help separate. Maybe it's good for SEO terms. Maybe it's something that you need to be uh, stay competitive. 
So for an example, you might need something that says the category where other people just want to go right into the content, okay? And that's completely up to you. And the category would be more if you're working on a blog post. Now, granted, you might have a blog within your website, and that's completely fine, okay? So your pages are still going to show up as, you know, myfakewebsite.com forward slash about or contact or whatever you have going on, where the blog would be, you know, myfakewebsite.com forward slash SEO forward slash Chris is the best SEO in the world, okay? Obviously, that's false news, fake news, whatever, but that's kind of how that would work, okay? You can add the category inside of that, okay? So that's how simple it is. So again, just to recap, si simply go to settings, go down to permalinks. If you're on anything other than post name, I'm gonna go back to post name because I actually wanna stay on post name. You just click on post name, click save, and now this will edit it, okay? So now let me show you how this works. We're gonna go back to the about page. We're gonna click on pages. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna actually click on it because I can do quick edit. Uh, if you look at quick edit, you know, it just says about and slug has changed. But uh, just so I can take you back to the beginning, how I showed you, we're going to click on the about page. And now at the top here, you see the permalink has changed. So before it was, you know, forward slash question mark, you know, P, you know, page underscore ID one, two, whatever. Okay. Now it is myfakewebsite.com forward slash about. And that's exactly what you want. So that is today's permalink, you know, tip of the day kind of thing. Hopefully you can apply it to your website, especially if you're seeing a whole bunch of jumbled mess with the uh, numbers and different things like that, symbols. It doesn't work very good. So thank you again for watching this video. Definitely again, please subscribe. I really appreciate it. And until next time, I hope that you find success online, offline, and in your life. Take care.